Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking with you about choosing a medical specialty. I'm really excited to talk about this especially because I was a very indecisive pre-med and med student so I did go through a lot of steps to choose my medical specialty. Okay if this is your first time watching any of my videos, welcome! I am a dermatology resident and my video is for anyone who is thinking about or currently training in medicine. So let's get started. My very first tip before we even start thinking about all the ins and outs of choosing a medical specialty is just being open-minded. And that's really especially for the people who already think that they know what they want to do. When you start medical school, you will start to be exposed to way more than you ever had been in your pre-med training. And then you'd also get to see a little, a lot better what the lifestyle is like for doctors working in a specific field. And you're also going to grow up after a few years in medical school, your mindset might change a lot. So stay open-minded so that you can be welcoming to all the fields that you're exposed to because most pre-meds do change their mind once they go into medical school. I am an example. Of course, there are the people who knew what they wanted to do as a pre-med or even as a child and ended up practicing it now. But in the majority, a lot of people change their mind. So stay open-minded. The next thing is thinking about what kind of patient relationship you are looking for. I knew coming into medical school that I wanted a strong patient-physician relationship. And I got that from my experience as a pre-med where I was working as an ED scribe and a family med scribe at different times. And I did not really enjoy the ED scribe part of it, mainly because you did not get to, you did not know your patient coming going into it and you didn't really know where they ended up after. And with family med scribe, I was able to watch the strong relationship between the attending and the patients. A lot of times he knew the patient's families and they would have like very personal conversations. I really loved that and wanted that for myself. So I knew going in that I wanted a strong patient physician relationship. The next question you want to ask yourself is what kind of atmosphere am I trying to work in? Are you looking for inpatient or outpatient? Outpatient is usually is usually a little bit more calm. Inpatient, a lot of times that's like hospitalists working in the ICU, where a lot of times the patients could be dying right in front of you. While Outpatient, generally you're seeing healthier patients, patients that are stable enough to come into the clinic and you can quit and you can um, take your time to assess them. Ask yourself what you want. Then ask yourself, are you looking for a day to day where it looks the same every day or you want your day to be changing all the time? Or do you want to do procedures or surgeries? What makes you happy? And then of course, ask yourself what's making you happy as you start shadowing as a pre-med, shadowing as a med student, and of course in your med school rotations, ask yourself what field is speaking to you? Which field do you think that is going to make you excited to wake up to every day? Residency is not easy, med school is not easy, and being an attending is not easy. So you need to find something that draws you to go into work every day. As a Durham resident, every day is not an easy day. However, what makes me excited every day is to see my patients, is to know that I'm going to see clinical cases that I'm probably very interested in, to just bond with my patients. My patients are great to chat with. Like it's always, it really just always feels like a great day when I'm in clinic. So ask yourself, what makes you smile? Like literally when I talk about dermatology, it's so cheesy, but I start smiling. But that's what you need to be feeling when you pick your your field while learning about what kind of atmosphere you want to work in it's a great idea to talk to residents talk to attendings you can start that when you're shadowing as a pre-med but definitely especially when you're in med school talk to them ask them what their life was is like what their day-to-day -day life is like what their training has been what they love and don't like about their fields i asked so many different attendings about their fields i wanted to know what life was like because we all have an image of how we want our lives to look like you want to be a happy physician so you want to pick a field that will make you happy additionally this is a great time to start getting role models in the in different fields your mentors also help you choose the field that you're in. I've met a lot of older attendings who told me they really picked a specialty because of the role model that they met, which inspired them to do the field as well. When I rotated in dermatology, my home institute's dermatology program is phenomenal. Everyone I met was so happy and literally loved derm so much. It's like it almost like rubbed off on me. And I was just like, I want to be happy and as into my work as the people that I see here. So of course, make sure you're shadowing, doing research, talking to the residents, talking to the attendings, 
and even asking them like why they didn't pick other fields as well when you talk to them about their everyday what their everyday is looking like and asking them you know what don't they like and what they do like pay attention to lifestyle and what i mean by that specifically for me i was not interested in working at a job where i would get 2 a.m phone calls for most of the month or most of the year and the phone call would most likely lead to me having to go to the hospital for an emergency i could not imagine myself doing surgery at 4 a.m that's just not something that <laughs> excited me Another part of lifestyle that is still considered a little taboo to talk about is money. At the end of the day, it is not free to go to medical school. It is not free to be a pre-med student. And a lot of us don't work in either our pre-med and or med school training. And when we start residency, we still do not make the big bucks as an attending. So money is part of the decision-making factor. You have to ask yourself, what are you comfortable with making that will make you relatively happy? Because at the end of the day, if you think you're working much harder than the salary you are receiving for years and years, you will be a disgruntled physician. However, what is very important to know is that medicine changes all the time. And if you make that part of your top decision making, that, won't, that would also not be a smart move because you never know what field will start making more money or what field will start making less money. So while this might be a contributing factor to your decision making, it should not be your only factor or main factor. And most importantly, if you're choosing a field for money, I don't think you could legitimately be a good physician because it's really the field in itself, the patients in themselves, the medicine aspect of itself that should be driving you and then the money should just be a plus. Another tip I have for you all is trying out that AAMC quiz. I took it and it was really, really good because it was able to suggest to me, it suggested to me a few different specialties, but dermatology was on top. And when I was not sure what field I wanted to go into, it made me feel a little bit better that they were like, oh, I do have the personality or I do have the fit for dermatology. So if you have access to that website, check it out, take the quiz, see how it goes. Another tip I have for you guys is don't get scared because you think a field is too competitive. I say that because a lot of people shy away from fields because they don't think that they are good enough for the field. And I was close to doing that as well. And here I am as a dermatology resident. So what I mean to say is if you are passionate about something, go after it. I know people who did not pursue a field because they were scared that they were not competitive and they ended up being very unhappy in their chosen specialties. Oh, and I even know some who then had to go through their residency then and to figure out ways to get into the residency program of their choice. So don't get scared. Go after it 100% and do what you have to do to get into that specialty. Another important tip I have for you guys is that when I was choosing medical specialties, a lot of people were saying like, oh, I did this rotation and I just knew it was for me. Or I um, always knew I wanted to do this field and I started rotations and I know for sure it's for me. I was going through rotations and I was just like, mm, not into it. Like I couldn't see a field really that I was like that excited about. And then I did dermatology and I was like, oh, this field is awesome. But then I was scared about not being competitive. So I almost just like brushed it off. And then I was doing other rotations and I was just like, hmm, I still miss dermatology. I never had the eureka moment like, oh, this field is definitely for you. Um, then finally, when I started doing more rotations in dermatology, including like my OAs, that's when I was just like, oh my God, this field is like bomb. I need to be a dermatologist today. <laughs> like I actually had an attending who, who was an pathologist and she told me that she never had the eureka moment either. She really just did a whole bunch of rotations, didn't really like it. And patholo pathology was her field that she can see herself in. And then she grew to love it a lot more. So it's all about being patient with yourself, being open-minded, getting to know the field. And it's okay if it takes you a while to grow into a field. A lot of people are, I think the problem is that so many people say that they have a eureka moment that you're expecting it for, expecting it to. If you're indecisive like me, you never have a eureka moment. So <laughs> be patient with yourself. Hopefully those tips were helpful. If you have any questions about how I decided to do dermatology, what else I just, um, or have any questions about specific specialties in itself, leave a comment below. If this was helpful in any way, press that like button so I know. Subscribe to my channel if you are watching my video for the first time or haven't subscribed to me yet. Last but not least, I have a video coming out next week about why I specifically chose dermatology and maybe that can help you out a little bit more.
All right. I love chatting with you guys and hope to see you guys at my next video. Bye.